Hi and welcome to the Nuclear Snail channel. In this episode I will show you how to distress leather and to make your new and boring ass looking leather jacket into a vintage looking baddest jacket. Let's do this. Okay, besides your leather jacket, obviously, you will need the following simple things. Acetone and or denatured alcohol. This one is used for uh, lighting grills on fire. And this one is used as um, paint and dye remover. Because uh, we want to remove as much of the black dye from the jacket as possible, so acetone is great for that. To apply those substances, I recommend using some kitchen roll or tissues, whatever. Then you will need a piece of uh, rope or belt around 2 to 3 meters. So you can comfortably drag your jacket behind your car or behind your bike. Sandpaper, I didn't really use this, but uh, you can use sandpaper as well for, uh, you know, being really precise on some parts of your jacket if you want. Again, I didn't use it and optional rubber gloves to protect your hands from acetone because if you use it often on your hands directly uh, then you will get some skin problems but if you do it just once it won't hurt you that much so you can use rubber gloves but you don't have to okay here I am on a street made out of concrete blocks and it basically can be any rough but even surface and that concrete or tarmac surface will act as a huge piece of sandpaper now I'm rubbing in some acetone, which removes the dye. And I'm also rubbing in some alcohol, which does the same thing. You don't have to use both, you can use just the acetone, or if you want to be more gentle, just the alcohol. If you see that bluish tint, that's what's gonna happen if you rub a black jacket against concrete. I want to get rid of that. I want the jacket to look uh, more uh, dusty, I want it to have a yellowish sandy tint. That's why I'm rubbing in some dust into it. I'm also repeating the entire process, I'm applying acetone and alcohol multiple times. So you basically can use this method, just rubbing it against the concrete surface, or you can use different methods. What you said about my mama? Ich bin ein Raupe und das geht mir gut. Ich bin ein Raupe, das geht mir gut. Also pay special attention to edges. And uh, you should really use a lot of force doing this. Leather is a really tough material, so uh, if your surface is even but rough, just apply as much force as you can. Also, it took me like one and a half hours doing this on those blocks, and I wasn't even uh, nearly satisfied with the result. That's why I also tried the following methods, like tying it behind a bike, should have done this from the very beginning. This is actually the best method for that. It also yields the most natural looking results. So when you do this, um, do some variations. Tie it by the main belt, tie it by the sleeves, tie it by the color, turn it around this way, that way and so on. Also I recommend putting some weight into it. If you cannot find a volunteer, then just put in some uh, other kind of weight. Do not put in too much weight. And it's best to distribute the weight evenly across the jacket. What worked best for me is a couple of blankets, which I put into the sleeves and the rest of the jacket to make it more heavy but not too heavy. And here I am applying some more dust to the uh, jacket because I just wanted as much of that dust to get into the creases and the pores of the jacket, into the cracks of the jacket as possible. 
So here is what it looked like before. Here is the back. And this is what it looked like after applying those techniques. Especially dragging it behind a car. And now you can actually leave it at this. Uh, there are a few more tricks, which I will show you in a sec, but uh, that's basically the bulk of this method. For now, just beware that this method is pretty harsh. It is not for everyone or for every jacket, as it will uh, tear some seams open. Also, it will leave some spots looking like this. The jacket is still wearable, it's not falling apart or anything. But this method is really harsh. So just beware of this stuff happening. I personally think uh, those spots are the best part of it, but you know, just know that this is gonna happen if you go really hard on your jacket. This is what it looks like if you reapply some leather fat, as you can see at the end of that sleeve. The acetone removes all the fat from the leather, leaving it vulnerable. So you might want to reapply some leather fat to it to make it more smooth as well as more water resistant. If you don't reapply leather fat, it will not fall apart, but you still might want to do this. This is what it's gonna look like if you rub in some dust again after applying the leather fat. And what it does in addition to making the leather more resistant again, it also makes the dust effect water resistant because the fat mixes with the dust and uh, stays in the leather. And water and fat don't like each other, so it's water resistant. What I'm doing here is an effect you also can do if you like the way it looks. I'm just applying some uh, random sprinkles to it. And for that I'm using walnut oil, but you can also use um, sunflower oil, any other kind of cooking oil, basically liquid fat. Any kind of liquid fat will do. Then you just sprinkle it over and you can leave those uh, fat sprinkles completely black. Or if you don't want that, you could also rub some dust in on top of those fat sprinkles again to make them uh, look not entirely black. So here is what my final result looks like from the back. And what happened here is that I've lost my main zipper during the car action. So if you don't want to risk your main zipper, then you might want to tuck it away or put some duct tape over it, basically protect it. It won't happen every time, but it happened to me with this jacket. So just beware of that. Losing the main zipper is pretty bad. But since this is just my old leather jacket, not a client order or anything, I just decided to repair it with those uh, clips which I took from an old German carrying belt system. At some point I will also make a tutorial on that, but it's not this time. Okay, that's it for this tutorial, and if you liked it then like, comment, subscribe, and I would also like to see what you made out of your leather jacket. So if you want to share your experience when distressing it, make a before and an after picture, as well as maybe a picture of you wearing it like a bus, and post it to my Facebook wall. Until next time, hail the snail.